Thank you so much. Uh, as said, my name is Yetna Bursh, and I would like to really thank all the presenters. Uh, I, I can't uh, agree strongly that, than what Jennifer said exactly in terms of the availability of tools. The key thing I would like to highlight is that the link between the counting and the accounting, because uh, persons with disabilities are really being missed out in the budgeting and the financing of development everywhere. Uh, we just produced a global report, the Stakeholder Group of Persons with Disabilities, which really shows that data disaggregation has been a real challenge for quite so many national governments. So what's not counted is not budgeted for. So you see quite so many disability issues, quite so many development agendas really become uh, not financed by government. Um, uh, so in terms of disaggregating the data, I really feel like I'm more of a global citizen, even though I come from a country called Ethiopia, because I'm not counted in Ethiopia, but globally there is a nice data, which World Bank and World Health Organization have done, so I, I tend to say that I'm a global citizen, because in your country, you're not counted, and normally you count what you value, because persons with disabilities are not really valued, or not really considered as contributing, so they're not counted. Um, this is going to change because, as Jennifer mentioned, there is already the tool. What lacks is the will. What can, how can we make the will to help the tool used? So in my country, I had the chance to negotiate with the government in the SDGs, and I asked it, how can we include disability? And they said, well, because we don't have data, we cannot take it in. And I said, come on, yeah, that's your failure not to have data. There is this tool. Are you willing to use it? Well, we don't have the money to do it. So I think we really need to be sure, and maybe as a point of forward for Jennifer to respond on, are there good examples of learning governments who has both the tool and the will to do disability disaggregate data? I know quite so many developed countries like the US and maybe DFID have are st taking steps, but I really want to know if there are, and I really call upon all of you to take that to take back the message that there is this interesting tool which only requires the will to use it. Then you won't miss out one billion people in 2030. Thank you so much.